All right, how's it going? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just give a quick tutorial on how to install ShareX uh, so that you can use it to capture screenshots for uh, your personal use, uh, friends, the MDT for legacy role play. Uh, it works amazing for these reasons. The reason I recommend using ShareX in your own custom uh, image uploader hosting is so that nobody has access to your screenshots but you. Uh, I know that we all take some weird screenshots every now and then, I know at least I do. I don't want to share them with everybody. Uh, so this way it's going to your own private image hosting that you can manage. Uh, and all the images are also captured onto your uh, PC as well. Uh, for um, But it's also in the cloud. So you actually don't need to have them on your PC if you don't uh, want to waste the space. I think a year's worth of screenshots for me is about 16 gigs so far. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to... Uh, ShareX or get sharex.com slash downloads. And you're going to go to the latest uh, release where it says latest, uh, which at the time of this video is 17.00. Uh, and then go to sharex uh, setup.exe, click it, download it, going to download it, you know, whatever your browser settings puts it to. Make sure you go to the folder where it's downloaded and then double click uh, the install. Uh, go through the install process. Uh, it's a safe program. It's not going to hurt anything. So get it all set up. Uh, once you have it installed, you'll be greeted with the window like this where you can set your key binds. Uh, I do F11. Everybody's different. So make sure that you choose what you use normally for screenshotting. Um, and then, yeah, for now, just go ahead and minimize this. Uh, you're going to then go back to your web browser and go to catbox. Uh, catbox.mo. Okay. You'll be greeted with this window right here. You'll see a login button right here. Go ahead and click it. Uh, you're going to go to sign up. Create yourself account. I would suggest putting on two-factor authentication. Uh, that way uh, your account's secure and nobody will ever get access to it. Um, so now that we're uh, set up here, I logged in here. Um, you'll be greeted with this window once you're logged in. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click manage account. You'll see this your user hash is right here and this is your user hash right here this will be a unique number for everybody nobody has the same user hash number this number like as it says your user hash is very private if anyone else knows it they can upload delete and essentially manage your account so do not give anybody access to this number you can always regenerate a new one here by clicking here which after this video we will be clicking at it and generating a new one so don't think you're going to be able to access my screenshots after this um and then uh, you're going to copy this number and then go ahead and minimize this for now. Uh, bring ShareX back up and go to the Destinations tab here. Click on it and go down to Custom Uploader Settings. Uh, this will all be blank, so go ahead and click New. Uh, when you click New, name it catbox.mo right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove it because I don't want to have to redo everything. But uh, where it says catbox.mo, you're going to go ahead and in the request URL, you're going to paste HTTPS colon slash slash catbox.mo slash user slash API dot PHP. And then uh, in the body, you're going to make sure it's selected on from data, multi-part form data. Uh, you're in the uh, destination type. Now, this should honestly just be set to image uploader. Um, I was doing some experimenting. I don't know that it does text and file, but... I have it selected for now. I can change it later. It's not a big deal. Um, but I believe Catbox is mostly just an image hosting site, but uh, I could be wrong. You can experiment yourself and find out. But uh, go ahead and select all three for now. It won't hurt anything. Uh, and then go here where it says name. You're going to have nothing here. You're going to have to double click the cell and enter in user hash, all one word. And then where that uh, hash number was, you're going to copy that, like I said here, and you're going to paste that into this value box. And then below user hash, you're going to do rec type, R-E-Q-T-Y-P-E, -E, uh, all one word. And then file upload here in the value, uh, all one word. And then from file, file from name, you're going to just put file to upload. Uh, it should automatically generate all the links here. You can test them uh, and make sure it's working. If you see this, you know that it's working. Uh, you can go ahead and now close this tab. And now you're going to go back to the destination settings and you're going to go to image uploader and you're going to go uh, custom image uploader. Make sure that's selected. And then once that's selected there, uh, you should now be able to take screenshots. 
and they'll automatically copy them to your clipboard. So as you see, say I wanted to screenshot this and it would automatically copy the link here generated into my clipboard. And as you see, you know, it's a screenshot of what we just took. Uh, you know, there's my voice mod, the screenshot of it up there. It works automatically uh, like that, which is great. So like if you're taking mug shots of someone in legacy or you're screenshotting a cheater or someone who just F8 quit, you can quickly just hit your screenshot button. It's automatically a link and you can share it with staff or you can paste it into the MDT because you did it with your photo camera. Uh, and this is all now uh, managed here. You can click to view the files. I'm not going to click on them because I don't want to show all my uh, screenshots, but as you can tell, you can make albums for it. There's so much you can do, but only you have access to these images, which is the most important thing for me. Um, and they also save in your documents, ShareX screenshots. So I have a year's worth of screenshots here. Uh, it's pretty easy to see. Like it works great, but. And like I said, mug shots, the amazing part of it. Um, but yeah, that's how you get it set up. It's super easy to do. I'm also going to put a tech step-by-step -step guide uh, in the link below. And uh, yeah, I strongly encourage you to set up your screenshotting like this. Uh, so much better for you personally and also uh, very compatible with our current MDT. And the links do not die out like Imgur or Discord links do. Uh, anyway, thank you. See you guys soon. Bye.